Hey guys, we got ourselves another Animal Warriors of the Kingdom figure review. Um, again, these are from Sparrow. Um, their info will be down below so you guys can check them all out. Here, I honestly don't know who we have because on the card, it says this figure's name is King Hannibal. But on the website, it says his name is Laranja. But here, Laranja's the lion who should be King Hannibal. I figure... It's got to be packaging mess up and not the website because I picture the lion to be the king and not this monkey and or moose. Um, but yeah, so it's either Laranja or King Hannibal. I'll try to figure out exactly which one it is and let you guys know. But I'm not sure which one this name belongs to. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's get into this. Here's how I have him right now as a moose. And we got him as little like hoof type things. Like a battle axe type deal. Spiky uh, antlers. Is that what you call them on like a moose? This little chest plate can come off and you can, you know, you can move the, most of the clothes around up and down or take them off just depending. Um, but yeah, there he is. Sort of show you around him. Okay, and then he comes with another weapon. This little hammer type deal. And then it comes apart um you can like put it well i guess i think this axe comes apart too right yeah all right that comes apart too so i mean you can probably mix and match with other figures weapons um but yeah that's just how i had them for now are they the same yeah okay same size little handles and then it's got like little monkey type feet and then the head is like a monkey orangutan. Kind of reminds me of Maurice from the Planet of the Apes franchise. Here is the feet. Let you guys sort of get a look at, compare them. Compare the heads. This is one of the figures that I want two of so that I can make one moose one uh, orangutan um, I have two of which figures that Belarus one's all robotic which I'll review him in another video and then the other is not which in another video I'll explain more about that um, I don't think I have any duplicates of anybody else quite yet but there are a few that I do want duplicates of so that I can have multiple animals you know what I mean same articulation as the previous one, um, you know, and the knees and elbows, just some of the basic joints you would expect to have articulation. Alright, here is him as a monkey type dude. I took his shield off so you could see some of the chest. Very, very nice. It's got little holes in the backs of these guys, so I assume there's accessories that I just don't have, but you can put stuff there, maybe like little holsters for swords or something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and transfer him back to how I normally have him. But yeah, he looks, he looks so naked and weird without that. Oh, forget forgot his little chest plate um like i did last time i want to know what would you guys how would you have this if you only had one would you have it as the monkey or the moose what, how would you prefer that i don't know why i just really love how the moose looks again these figures have great detail um great articulation um the uh backs have little pockets like i mean the fur lots of it i will say the hair is if i didn't say it already the hair is pointy uh just like with one of the other figures so it can hurt a little bit i've discovered with dc mcfarland figures a lot of them have spikes and crap and like they hurt so be careful with your toys because you can really hurt yourself um these guys definitely don't hurt as much as that those do but still you know what watch, watch out for them because this has more handle because it has all this hammer. It kind of makes me feel like this axe thing is just way too short, you know? Can this come off of the top? Yo, it can. I don't know if I knew that. 
Oh, but I can't connect it here. It'd have to be a different weapon that can do that. So that's kind of lame, but sure, whatever. Let's axe back together so we can have that. Um, as always, these uh, Sparrow figures, maybe not this specific one, but they are available in either store. Um, if you are like me and you like animal hybrid type deals these are figures for you and then just indie figures i've really discovered are just really fun and really awesome and i wish more stores had them um but yeah for the people that don't have stores that have them can get them from us that's it i think next time i'll explore one of the regular not deluxe figures so you guys the smaller guys um but yeah i'll uh see you guys next video